When I went through my little phase where I stopped getting professionals to frame things, I tried to frame things myself. So I made a shadow box. You see, in um, another life at another radio station, many stations ago, I got an award and I got a little medal and the medal actually says, going above and beyond. It was my merit award. So I decided to frame it with a couple of pictures of me from said radio station. It looks like this. Notice it moves. Okay, um, this was actually an old frame that I absconded from the radio station, which was a previous award given for something that they no longer were using. And I just took it all apart. And then I used painter's tape to put it in and just kind of hung this down the side. And you'll notice that my pictures are starting to curl up. And this is bad, this bad. Mom, I'm sorry. Um, so we're here at Picture Perfect and we're going to find out how to make this better. Before we get to that though, I want to introduce you to something else because I blogged about it and lots of people showed lots of interest. And that was the friendship bags. These are awesome. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like with a bottle of wine in it. Um, and the concept behind them is absolutely fabulous. There are women in Guatemala who are making these and what you do with it is you put a gift in it and inside, way down here, is a little number. And then you go to the website and you type in that number and you can write a note and say who you are. And then when you pass on the bag, the next person does the next thing. So if you're into geocaching at all, it's a perfect gift for anyone into geocaching or just friends that, that have a sense of adventure and want to do something that's fun. And at the same time, you're helping out some wonderful women in Guatemala. It also has a book in the front that explains what it's all about and you write a little note in it and then it gets passed along. So it's like a gift with a story. It's perfect for the upcoming holiday season and uh, whatever you might want to do with it. Here, see, you can put wine in it, you can put flowers in it or nothing in it and just use this as the gift. Oh, it might make a good stocking too at Christmas. Santa would love it. Anywho, just some ideas. I thought I'd actually physically show it to you since I blogged about it so much a couple of weeks ago. Okay, let's get this started and figure out how we can fix Susan's shadow boxing you framing. If you know someone in your world Nightmare. that knows more than you about some, something, make sure to ask them about it. That's what they're there for. So I wandered down the street to Picture Perfect and Perpetual Blooms. If you're in Kelowna, you will find them on Bernard. They've got a big sign, you can't miss them. Uh, where they do framing and art and all sorts of fun stuff. Joining me is Tracy. Hi Tracy. Hello. And I brought <clears throat> my project, which we've established was a bit of a do-it-yourself job. Now, do you get yes. lots of people come in with this stuff? We do. They are artistic dilemmas. We can help. <laughs> it's not the worst. Oh, it's really not the why worst. Why does it cost it more than going to uh, maybe one of the big box stores and just buying a frame and throwing it all in? Or doing what I did and ripping a frame off your wall, your wall and using painter's tape and sticking it all together. You were recycling. That's, that's a step in the right direction. Okay. Um, why it costs more is um, frames are a frame. Um, they're made with different components. They're manufactured in different countries. Um, if you go to a custom framer, you're getting a frame that's a certain size. It fits what you want it to fit instead of having to squish things into set sizes. And when we make a frame, we're making one. When you buy a frame at a department store, they've made 10,000 and shipped them all over the world. The only thing with department store frames, they are wonderful. We can, we can change them and adapt them, but the thing you need to be very concerned about for artwork is the glass. The glass that's in a department store frame is just regular old picture glass. It has no protective film on it, which is the types of glass that we or custom framers will sell. There are different glasses for different there's a picture glass that's actually got a special treatment on it that helps slow down fading, which is extremely important. Let's talk about the different options for what I want to do here. So, this is what I've got. You bring in now everything that means something to you. The more the merrier. You may not be able to fit it all, but it tells a story and it yeah. means something to you. So it's the way it's laid out and what, it, what you do with it, which is what's going to draw people to walk towards it and what it's you're going to smile when you have had to put stuff on top of stuff, so you can't really see clearly a little bit of our help, what, or you can have us do it everything. Do. So you're going to take all, you take, you ask all the questions that we don't think to ask. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like this so far. So you can see, this might suit, because this is Susan's hair. Yes. So Susan, that becomes you, right? That is me. And then you can... We can come up with a way of putting all your accomplishments in, an, in a way that looks concise and keeps it all together. And represents who I am. 
Exactly. And, and it will last forever. The other yeah. thing is, you were saying the difference between the department stores is here, you see, you, 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 I don't know if you can see this, there's, there's tape on this. <laughs> yeah, there is. And, and it's, it's not what we would term flat. No. It's got a couple fingerprints and, you know, it's been well loved, shall we say. Okay. So what we'll do is if you were to leave it in one of our hands, what we would do is a method called dry mounting. And what we do is we take this photo that's just made on photo paper and we'll glue it to dense cardboard, which will keep it flat. So that when it's in the frame and right. it's hot in the summer or cold in your winter, it's going to stay flat so that when the light is striking it, you don't get those curves and it's not going to curve up like right. it is. It's going to stay the way you wanted it to. So one day when my niece's kids have kids and they're talking about that crazy great great aunt Susan that used to be on the radio, yes. they can still look at these pictures and they'll still look yep. fabulous on a wall somewhere. Yep. Which of course would be like shrine quality at that point. Absolutely. They will build that over the years. We can add yeah. to the shrine and make a bigger <laughs> shrine. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Well, in that case, I'm going to leave this in your trusty hands. Okay. You know what I'm looking for. We will make it so. Okay. All right, I'm very, very excited Thank as we like. unveil this looks amazing the color is perfect you got the angle thing that i like so much you're showing off the metal and of course my baby bangs um i love this absolutely to bits and as a matter of fact seeing it this way mm -hmm. brought back more memories of why these three things are so incredibly important to me yeah so that was really neat to see it properly done the emotion it immediately evoked when i saw it so that's pretty important um talk to me about what was done here Okay, what we did was we chose the frame that matches some of uh, Susan's decor, and it's yeah. deep. So what we've done is we've put the metal, which was the thickest part and has perhaps the most important, we put it at the back of the frame, so farthest to the bottom, if you will, and it's not resting against the glass, which is really important because it lets you see that the ribbon has dimension to it, and it's held in place uh, with a little dot of silicone, which is, is you can take that metal out at some point in the future. If it were a coin or something valuable, you don't ever want to glue something down in a way that will harm it. Um, and then the photographs, as we'd mentioned, we've um, cropped them, we've covered up where you had the tape and took <laughs> out the distracting uh, ceiling, so that gives you more focus, and we've dry mounted them, and what we've done is we've actually layered them. If you can tell that this one is actually recessed in a hole with the two colors that we had played with, and then this one we've put on the surface, and because Susan has a you know sense of humor, we put her a little off kilter, a shall we say? Tilt, yes. And then what we've done is we just put a little connecting line, which is called a V-groove, and that kind of connects the grouping and draws your eye around. It is really amazing the difference that a designer makes, not yeah. just with um, choosing the colors and the frames, but I mean those little, what did you call them, V-groups? V-groups. And the fact how they attach it all together makes a world of difference yeah. in the work. So that's pretty amazing. Ties it all. Um, I mean, people are going to wonder about cost when we talk mm -hmm. about things like this. So if someone had something very basic to do, could they come in and buy a shadow box that already exists? They could come in and buy a frame that's right. pre-made, so joined, um, and they just would look for something with the right depth, and they can ask staff as to how deep do you need. You need yeah. enough space to play with. So, and obviously we're probably starting, what, around the $30 mark, and then it goes up from there yeah. depending on how many mats, how big it is, yeah. what you're going to put in. But the important lesson would be that you can indeed frame anything. Yes, absolutely. And we want to mention really quick, too, that um, people can bring a frame to you. Yeah. You can bring me a big frame that you found that you've had in your family. Um, it could be, it could be an oval or a yeah. circle. It could be from the Sally Ann. Yeah. It's recycling. Yeah. As long as it structurally will hold together, we can make use of it. And if you want to do the work or we do the work, the whole thing is get your memory protected and get it up so you can enjoy it with everyone. Yeah, for the rest of your yeah, life. That exactly. is awesome. Thank you very much. And if you've yeah. ever wondered if you can have, you look at somebody's home and you think, oh, that looks so fabulous. I don't know if I could ever do something like that. You don't have to worry about doing it. You come into places like Picture Perfect and they'll do it for you. Um, or at least they'll talk you through it and give you the guidance you need to make sure that everything that's on your walls looks as best as it can and will stay in your family forever. That's this week's 52 Video.